Well, hey, fuckers. Spirits are calling me to convey another message. Y'all are on fire today. On fire. Oh. Now, tap that screen. Remember, if it's on your For You page, you might want to pay attention. Okay? But don't make a fit. Use your discernment. I'm going to do a collective from this What's the Tea deck. Okay? And for those of you that don't know... Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Was originated and born with this deck. So, it's on the TikTok shop. There's the link. If you want to purchase this deck, it's <laughs> it's got some pretty interesting tea. Just say the least. Okay. So, tap that screen and let's find out what the tea is for you from this deck. And what is the message spirit? What is... My collective need to know that you want to convey so, so bad that it can't wait. Yeah, it's like that sense of urgency. Okay, oh. Oh, okay. So, mm. so we've got uninterested and drama starter. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, it's... Involving a boss daddy, okay? This is someone that is stable. Probably has enough money to live well and comfortable. Could even be a business owner. Small business, large business, whatever the case. But they got a very big ego, okay? The card says big dick energy. I don't know if this person has a big dick or not. But they they strut their shit like they do. So, that's called confidence. And... There's nothing sexier than a man who's got confidence in his abilities. You know what I'm saying? Now, this person has not changed their feelings for you. Okay? They are still very much into you. Nothing has changed. Same shit, different day. They want you. They they crave you. I say they, but this is a masculine energy. And you guys have good chemistry together. So great vibes, it's a positive connection, and nothing has changed between you two. But I feel like there's been some sort of drama that separated the two of you, honestly. And this drama has something to do with some person, some other person, third-party person, like trying to play a role, trying to almost like dress like you, be like you somehow, copy you in some way because they want your person or they're already involved with their, your person. But this person is literally, this person, this third party is literally causing all kinds of drama, has caused drama, has manipulated your person, and made you pretty much disconnect from this person or this person disconnect from you because what you're not interested in is not the per is not your person it's the drama that comes with it this third party yeah i feel like your person came forward and they were like you know giving you a dirty tempting offer very taboo very unconditional unconventional or unconventional offer and it wasn't something you wanted to deal with because it's too much drama due to this third party involvement and I feel like you shine somehow like there's some sort of magic about you that puts you in the limelight makes you very charismatic charismatic I can't speak this morning charismatic very you know people look up to you people you are an influencer in some way and you're in the spotlight a lot. So I feel like this person was trying to be taboo and unconventional, but unfortunately for them at the time, that didn't work with what you were doing. Okay. The shit didn't mesh. Okay. This person was trying to be sneaky and in the shadows and doing taboo and naughty shit. Right. And it didn't work out that way because the two of you were not meshing. But make no mistake, this person has been hooked on you, stayed hooked on you. Like I said, they are still into you. Nothing's changed. Same shit, different day. They do have bad habits that they are trying to break free from. And they're still hooked on. This could be 
any kind of like drugs, alcohol, uh, toxicity, addictions, drama addictions, sex addiction, whatever. And I feel like you, I feel like you are at this point in your stage that you're just ignoring all of this because you don't know what's going on with this person. And so the only thing you can do is just do you, you know, stay in the limelight, shine, keep shining. I feel like you are leveling up in some way, glowing up. Like, I feel like your confidence is through the roof. Like you are in your divine feminine power. You know what I'm saying? Like you can create anything for yourself and you know it. Your person wants you back. Oh yes, they do. Mm -hmm. They want you back something awful. And I'm sensing they're fearful that they may have lost you. So I feel like they're fishing through your comments on your social media to see who you're talking to. Because they are also very possessive of you. And they want to see if they've lost their chance. I don't think they've lost their chance, though. From what I'm hearing, you are on board. 100%. What'd I say about you? Queen Rising. <laughs> You are in your divine feminine power and you know it. Yes. So, yeah, you're not playing no games. You're not taking no games. Yeah, you're not playing no games. Rejected. Rejected any kind of taboo, disrespectful behavior, naughty behavior, any kind of drama this is going to cause or cause. And I feel like your person's reflecting on all of these things and starting to realize, oh... Like, oh, that's why. And you've been dodging bullets, negativity, and toxic behavior, and blocking all this shit, and escaping crazy people, and and you're being protected in so many different ways. And I feel like because this person wasn't coming forward the righteous way, I feel like spirits protected the both of you from moving too fast in a connection that was taboo or naughty because this connection I don't feel is taboo or naughty. I feel like if the spirits are leading you and you've been dodging negativity for all this reason and this person still is into you this strong and you're still into them this strong, it's spiritually led, 100%. I feel like your person is acting unbothered going through the daily grind with working and all those things and just kind of playing it off like they're not bothered by the situation, but I feel like they are. And I feel like that's why they're working so extra hard because you are in fact in a love triangle with a third party. So yeah, this person has choices. They have had multiple lovers and right now they are stuck. Okay. There's some sort of reason they are stuck. Can't go nowhere. Can't do anything. If this is the same energy from earlier, I feel like this person's stuck because they're under a radar from the third party that they're with. And they're trying to keep, you know, trying to keep a happy home. Like I said, if this is a spinoff and that makes total sense. Totally stuck. Yeah. This is a runner. This person ran from the, di from the connection between you two. And I feel like this person wants to run from this situation they're in. They want to break free, become single. Like I said earlier, they want this person to be an ex. And they have kind of a love-hate relationship with this person. I feel like they love them because they've been with them so long. They know them front and back. Like they, they, It's like a companion to them, so they do care deeply for this person. And I do feel like at some points they hate them because they resent things that they do and don't do and treatment of how they, you know, they're fed up. Bottom line, fed the fuck up. Like, so that's where the hate comes in. And you're their wish fulfillment. They want you. Bottom line, I love you. I hope this helps. 